All right, so it's been a crazy two weeks. We've been trying to get the van ready to take a trip. So I didn't want to get too far behind. I put a bunch of the clips together of week five and I'm going to show you all the progress and then week six will be a better update video and maybe Kelly will join me. All right, so tonight we are going to install the Max Air fan. We've been waiting quite some time for this. It was on back order because of COVID shut production down. And so I've got it marked out. I've gathered everything that I need to put it in. And we're going to put it in. We're going to cut a big hole in the van. So wish me luck.
Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at the shower drain. I had to drain this over to the side here instead of right down here. Right below the floor here under the van is the muffler. So I ran it across and down and then that will tie into the gray water. Now here I had to do, I had to take it from three inches all the way down to three quarter. So it was one coupling here that's just a three inch pipe and then this is the adapter to take it down that's got a threaded female end and then i just put a male shark bite on the end of it and then put the shark bite couplings over to this thing so i drained a gallon of water down there and looking good So I'm just testing this. I want to put it through pretty quick because when you shower, it's going to go through pretty quick. I don't want to see how fast this drain. That's awesome. That's perfect. Alright, so the shower bench is all done, and uh, let's take a look at it. You just lift it up. I'm going to put a hole or something in it to lift it up, but that lifts up, and there's your shower basin. I still have to do the caulking around here, but I'm going to wait until I get that wall done. So, I actually took a shower in it last night, and it worked out good. I'm going to treat that still. Yeah, and then I'll... Hang a shower curtain up there. All right, so when the shower is not in use, it is a bench seat for an extra person. And you can swivel the driver's seat around, and then you've got an ottoman there. When we travel, Maddie can rest up there. Her doggy bed will sit up there, and um, she'll have a harness, and it can be tethered right there for safety when we're driving. So this actually functions as three different uses. All right, so what we're doing today is I put an angle, the same angle that's on these roof ribs, and we're putting these up along here so that we can put the insulation, we, we can put staples on here and run the insulation and then our ceiling will screw will uh will tap to this so these just go right up here they get some sheet metal screws and voila
activates once water passes through. All right, so there you have it. There's the updates, and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for following along. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the notification bell. That way you know when I have new videos up. We'll see you guys on the next adventure.